say about distractions. Distraction from God is extremely dangerous. As believers we believe that God is the captain of our ship. When you start losing sight of your captain, you start trying to steer your own ship. Not only does this lead to going the wrong way, but it can lead you in the direction of trials, sin, missed opportunities, and missed blessings. When you lose sight of your captain you start to fear and worry. You start to think I'm in this by myself. Your captain promised to guide you and help you but instead of focusing on him you started focusing on the huge waves and the other sailors around you. As technology advances being distracted from God is becoming easier and easier. Distraction from God could be because of sin, but that's not always the reason. The main reason is life and getting caught up in the world. Reasons for distractions include ourselves, money, hobbies, relationships, cell phones, TV, and more. Sometimes we're consumed with our technology all day and we only acknowledge God right before we go to sleep with a quick 20-second prayer and this should not be. The quick prayer we did was a selfish one at that and we didn't even take the time to say thanks and give him praise. In life we're supposed to do God's will not our will. When we allow other things to consume our lives we drift away from God. Fix your eyes back on the captain. You know where to find him. Satan always tries his best to distract us and when we get serious about having fellowship with the Lord he will try to distract you even more. Don't be afraid. God says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Keep praying. Many times people pray, but then get distracted and think it's not going to work. Stay focused on the captain. Spend time with your Lord like you would with your child or parent. Know that he is with you on the journey. He's guiding you to the right place. If you persevere in prayer, at the right time he will answer. Have faith. Christian quotes about distractions. The more you focus on yourself, the more distracted you will be from the proper path. The more you know him and commune with him, the more the Spirit will make you like him. The more you are like him, the better you will understand his utter sufficiency for all of life's difficulties. And that is the only way to know real satisfaction. John MacArthur. God did not create you to live a distracted life. God created you to live a Jesus-infused life. Don't let the noise of the world keep you from hearing the voice of the Lord. If the enemy can't destroy you he will distract you. If the enemy can distract you from your time alone with God, then he can isolate you from the help that comes from God alone. If Satan cannot have your heart, he'll do his best to distract you. When the enemy sends distractions, they never look like distractions until they are finished distracting you. Let's learn what scriptures teaches us about overcoming distractions. 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 35 I am saying this for your benefit, not to place restrictions on you. I want you to do whatever will help you serve the Lord best, with as few distractions as possible. 2. Mark chapter 4 verse 19 But all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things, so no fruit is produced. 3. Luke chapter 8 verse 7 Other seed fell among thorns that grew up with it and choked out the tender plants. 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you that is unusual for human beings. But God is faithful, and he will not allow you to be tempted beyond your strength. Instead, along with the temptation he will also provide a way out, so that you may be able to endure it. Being distracted from God by the world. 5. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect.